Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's Console Care here, bringing you another episode of Animal Crossing. Today, we are on the island of Sterling. That's right. In our last episode, we blew up folklore. We started a new adventure, and we rolled a bunch of islands until we found the one we liked, and we named it Sterling. We talked about what method we're using, who's inspiring us to do this, and how we're going to wrap it around a challenge that I created. So let's do better than talk about it. I'm going to show you. So let's go to conference room B. It is the 20 acre layout method. Not to be confused with the 20 acre design method as created by It's Me Carolee. If you did not see that video, be sure to go ahead and check it out. I will give you a little nutshell of the concept. So if you look at the map, the green, there's five squares across, there's four squares down. Four times five is 20. Carrie can do math. <laughs> so that represents an acre. So how does this all work? Well, let's go to the start here guide. Isn't that a good place to start? <laughs> it says start a new island with resident services located in one acre. So last episode, we did that. We found an island, had resident services. And if you look at the numbers and the letters on the map, it is in 4D. We've noted resident services has been assigned to 4D. Then what do you do? Locate tents, of course. <laughs> Which tents? Well, the player tent, that would be my tent, or yours if you're inspired to play along, and your two starter villagers. You're going to have to decide which villagers is number one. For me, I chose who was on my right hand side at the welcoming party. You could do it however you want. That would be Faith for the island of Sterling. So how did we determine my tent? It says see die instructions. Roll the die two times. First roll is left to right. Second roll is top to bottom. So we did roll that, and the intersection is our assigned acre. So I ended up in 4E, which is right in front of resident services. I can tell you, I swear to you, I have never put my house in front of resident services. So this is the beauty of decisions being taken away from you. You are coming out of your comfort zone. So then we rolled the die for Faith and Buck. And Faith is in 4B. If we look at the map, 4B is at the tippy top in the middle. I don't have access to that. I need a tool to get there. So what do we do? What do we do? We go to the beach option. If you cannot complete the task, use the beach. So that's what we've done. We put Faith on the beach. Temporarily, she's on vacay. As soon as we have her assigned acre available, we'll move her. How are we keeping track of all this, Carrie? Well, I've also created a map, a 20 acre layout map, to help me keep track of where everybody's going. All right. So what's next? Well, what's next is we, we play the game. And when a decision, location decision comes up, then we roll the die and use this method to locate that item or a resident. What else? Well, we also have a challenge to do that is in conjunction with this layout method. What is that? I'm about to reveal it to you right now! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm sorry I'm yelling. <laughs> it is the flower tourney! What? What is that, Carrie? What is the flower tourney? 
Well, we have a fish turning. We have a bug turning. Why don't we have a flower turning? So this is a competition that I've created. How does it work? Well, let's go to the start here guide. It's competition, obviously. So enter competition when a seed is available. I will stop right there and tell you that the native flower is assigned to the player. And that is why I really wanted roses to be the native flower because it's an unfair advantage. There's more, uh, or disadvantage. <laughs> There's more flowers that need to be had. Um, and I wanted to get the gold roses so that I could make money so that I can buy all these flowers. All right. So day one, native flowers, roses goes to the player that happened in day one. We will have to wait to do the rest of it until day two, but we'll take a little gander at it. So how do you assign the other villagers their flower so that they too can enter the flower tourney? Well, you roll the die to bid on a seed when the seed is available. So let's go to the roll the die instructions. Roll the die one time and then see the flower list for assignment. So let's say Faith. So Faith would be next in line. So Faith will tomorrow Day two, Faith will roll the die, and if that flower is available, she gets a flower. Up to 50. You could have up to 50 flowers max. What if she rolls a die that's not available for purchase? Well, she will have to wait, and that's kind of where the variables come in. Also, something I didn't think about until just now. Faith is on the beach, so she technically could, tomorrow, could roll the die, get a flower, and plant it, but plant it on the beach. If you know anything about Animal Crossing, flowers don't grow on the beach, <laughs> so that will set her back. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. It's going to be super fun. I'm so excited about this, you guys. All right, and then, and then Buck will be next in line to roll the die the next day. So it's one flower per day is assigned. You work, these are the rules. You work in your acre, so that's where they'll be planted. And each contestant gets 50 flowers max. Why 50? Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> There's 11 at play <laughs> times 50. That's 550 flowers, which is why I need the gold watering can. <laughs> all right, all right, so. Why are we doing all of this? What's the point of the flower turning? Well, are you in it to win it? Because I know I am. I know every villager is. I know you are. How do you win? Complete your garden, your seed, with all hybrid flowers. That's the winner. And whoever's in the lead each week will get a flower-themed award, if possible. All right, so that's it. That is it in a nutshell. I did it in a under nine minutes. Sorry for all the talking. <laughs> but now we all know what we're doing and why it looks crazy. So now I am going to officially enter the tourney. I'm going to pick up this yellow rose. And I am going to go over to my acre anywhere in my acre. It is going to be so much easier. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so... It's like... It's a couple squares. I don't even have a shovel. <laughs> I got nothing. I got a fishing pole and a net. Alright, I think... Well, I think... Let's plant it right here. I think... I know this is in my acre. And we can move them later. So, boom, I have... I can't even water it. I have no <laughs> watering can. But I have officially entered the tourney. And I'm in the lead. <laughs> but we won't make that decision until once a week. I gotta decide which day we're gonna do that. Do reward day. 
So, now what? Well, we just play the game. I'll kind of talk about what I've done. Um, between uh, last episode and this episode, like I said, we're still on day one, May 1st. And um, I took all the fruit and put a weed pack <laughs> in front of it so I know which one are fruit trees. That's why that's there. I picked up all the weeds that I could. Um, I picked up a bunch of shells, but I haven't sold them yet. That's the next thing I need to do. Here's a shell here. And I, I bought a slingshot right quick. <laughs> and I've been shooting down presents. So let's sell and then we'll pick up all our presents and find out what things we got. We got quite a few balloons just in one day. are inspired as well to play this version. We got a water bottle right on our beach. <laughs> Day one. Usually it's on the other side of the river. So let's see what DIY we got. To someone on an island out there. That would be me. Sometimes good ideas come from unexpected places. Boy, isn't that the truth. I wanted to do this flower challenge and I just wasn't sure how to do it. And then my YouTuber went and gave me the solution, the missing piece to the puzzle. Well, I came up with a new way of crafting a mirror. Ooh, a mirror that I hope works just as well for you. Whoever and wherever you are, we can all use some quiet reflection. Best wishes, Bertha. <laughs> so Bertha gave us a wooden table mirror. And we've already gone through the workshop, so we know how to do stuff. Got a new DIY. What uh, materials are required for that? Oh, we need wood and iron. We have no way of getting that just yet, so we'll put that on the back burner. I also have been doing some miles, but not going crazy. I'm trying to go low and slow. <laughs> Just play the game, not get in a hurry. So, one of our miles here, we can collect Nook Phone Life. Gotten used to using your Nook Phone? Okay, so we got miles for using our Nook Phone. 300. Climbing up the ladder here. First time buyer. Okay, so what did we buy? Oh, we bought the slingshot. I don't think we bought it. Oh, and we bought the flowers. That's all we've bought so far. Another 300. We're already almost halfway to our goal. So what's that goal that I'm talking about? Well, we need 5,000 miles to pay off our bill. It's raining treasure. <laughs> we got 300 miles. So that's for popping balloons. No one knows who sends the gifts attached to balloons in our island, but you can earn miles by shooting them down and collecting what's inside. We're not complaining. <laughs> so, oh, and there's another one. Let's get our slingshot out. Not sure how long this slingshot will last, but we got to get it before it goes across the river. <laughs> All right, we got that one. That's my flowers. All right, let's head in and sell what we've collected. Timmy, I got stuff to sell. I want to sell. So those flowers are 240 bells a pop. So I'm gonna have to earn some money here. I can, I'm hanging on to the giant clams for now. But I don't really need a lot. Let's not sell the tree branch. Ah, we could sell the tree branches. Those are easy to acquire. But 
we're gonna need to build some more tools. So we got 4,190 bells. We're in the 6,000 bell range. All right, should we buy more flowers? We're gonna need to. So I need, do I really want 50? Not really. <laughs> um, no, I don't wanna sell. I pushed the wrong button. All right, let's buy some flowers. I am within my right to buy 49 yellow roses. <laughs> I mean, that would be a money maker, I guess. <laughs> let's start buying some yellow roses. We'll buy in bulk. Let's go with 10. That would be 11 because of my first one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I think I've already gone to the kiosk. Yes, I have. Sign off there. And um, that's really the only reason I'm in here. <laughs> we could start doing the fauna with Tom, but I think right now we're just trying to earn money, pay off our loan, make miles, make money, buy stuff, make money, buy stuff. <laughs> Let's go find our, our presents. Let's go open our presents. Where did that one behind the tree go? Oh, did I see it over here? Is it here? No. Oh, yeah, I think I see it. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Stinking tree. Alright, we got it. Let's go collect our presents. If you watched my last uh, series in the beginning, I shot down presents for a month or two. Um, oh, that's a pretty good sized fish. I'm trying to not fish just yet because you have to donate it. Um, so that's not really a money maker. Today we're focusing on miles, money, miles, money, and flowers. Miles, money, and flowers. Miles, money, and flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got them all. All right, let's open them. And of course, Tommy's photobombing us. Ooh, a clothes closet. And a tool cart. A lawn chair. Lawn chair will be good. Plasma ball. A retro cast pump. Puckered socks. Let's wear the socks. I can't even see them with my shoes on. Let's remove our shoes and see what they look like. Alright. <laughs> Let's wear, put our shoes back on. No, oh, I didn't tell you guys. So... I'm, you're supposed to get a hat for one of your starter villagers when you first put the tent down as a thank you to help them pick their spot. But mine didn't. You know why? Because my buck was fishing. <laughs> so I realize now if I had interrupted him from his fishing, nudged him, got him to stop fishing, then he would have gave me my hat. But instead, today, later the same day, really, in-game, uh, but this episode, I was able to get my hat, and this is it. It's a boring, plain old, brown, beige, explorer hat. <laughs> so, I don't hate it, <laughs> but it's not my favorite either. 
not sure what colors those come in. I'm sure there's lots of options. Oh, we missed a present. How is that possible? Maybe it came in the mail? I can't remember. I did get some mail. Um, so I got these nerdy glasses. Fits, fits with the hat. Yeah, and it came in the mail. You know what else came? Is my lolly picture. So, there's another reveal and surprise! <laughs> we are going to be doing Happy Home Paradise episodes with this series. I may put it in a separate playlist. Not sure. Uh, but, yeah, I've never played it. So, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I've been watching some videos of other YouTubers and it doesn't look too hard. Uh, so, maybe I'll get better at decorating. Alright, so let's look at our presents. What should we do? For sure the chair can go. Now remember, I can only decorate in my acre. So, that's kind of limiting. But we want to put these things down. Unless we really know we don't want them, and then we could sell them for some money. But these stinking trees are in the way. I built a fire for each villager, including myself. So I think we'll put this lawn chair next to the fire. We can get warm. And you know what? It might look better on the other side. I'm just thinking because the picture's there. where we say goodbye today. Yeah, that looks good, huh? Except for the photobomb. <laughs> what else have we got? We got a tool cart. I don't... Well, it does match my tent, but I don't really see myself using the tool cart. I think I'm going to sell that. We need a clothes closet to be able to change, right? So maybe we put it in front of this tree. If we want to change, although is that yeah, and that is not a fruit tree, so we're not gonna at least right now we're not gonna be shaking trees. We may change that. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna change that because <laughs> we'll probably start shaking trees here soon. We'll just put it next to the tent. I wish I could put it inside my tent. Could I? Can you put furniture in your tent? I've never done that before, have you? Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. See if it's possible. But yeah, I've never really bothered to decorate my tent before. And look at that, you can. Alright, you know what I think? I think, uh... I need another cardboard box is what I need. There's no room. Let's move this radio out of the way. I could put that photo and put the... We will put the radio maybe over here. Turn the music on. KK Fusion is currently playing. What else do we have in here? The tool cart I'm going to sell. The pump. Maybe these have been cataloged, so I can buy them. So I think the rest of the... Is the plasma thing cool? Let me see. You turn it on. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna keep that. Gas pump might be cool. Uh, and I know I need to place items down for getting my stars, but we're way far away from that. We're in a tent. Izzy's not even on the island, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell those two items. Get some money, buy some more flowers. Well, actually, I don't think I'm going to buy any more flowers. I don't need that many yellow. <laughs> um, does yellow get you anything? Let me look at... Let's see. Yeah, you never plant yellow... Like, two yellows together to get anything, so... I don't want any more. 
I want to sell. But we could buy the other flowers for when they come, uh, when they need to be given to a villager. We're going to sell this. Uh, yeah, we'll sell the weed. We're going to keep the clans, the flowers. Yeah, we can keep our striped socks. We'll sell the pump. 1785. Timmy, we got a whole money burning a hole in our pockets. What's for sale? Or we could buy this barbecue, but we need to make sure we get the flowers. So red wind flowers, we're gonna buy ten. Five at a time. Purchasing evenly. So the other flower that's available is the white tulip. So we'll buy five of those. And we have just enough for another five. Alright, we have $745. We could... Oh, we could buy a watering can. Oh, we're short by <laughs> $55. Actually, I'll pass. Alright. Do we even bother with that? Is there anything in the recycling? Nope. I guess that's a once per day kind of thing.
All right, I picked up all the branches off of the fruit trees. That gave me almost 90. Almost 90. So we're going to go and sell that. And some shells. Timmy! I want to sell. Mama needs a new barbecue. Gonna sell those three stones. <laughs> we'll get more. Seven hundred and five bells. Oh, that's not even enough for the barbecue. Darn. Well, I could sell these four clams. All right, we'll sell the clams. We'll get more. And the socks. I'll sell the shirt off my back if I have to. <laughs> Phew. Oh, those clams came in for me. Okay, now I can buy the barbecue. Oops. What's for sale? Mama needs a new barbecue. It's a green one. Come in different colors, I know. I don't really want the generator. We could buy another backup slingshot. Let's, let's do that. We're gonna need one. And we could buy a watering can. We can buy two. So we are in the lead. <laughs> we gotta keep it that way. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. It's, it's more of an episode 1A. <laughs> I may decide to call it episode 1A because it really was continuation of last episode explain what's going on so I hope you guys enjoyed the video 